I am not going to talk about any issues because already we have four sessions and we have heard a lot of issues. I am just going to touch upon some success stories how we really, the Hindu Dharma has taken on those issues and how we are successful. So I am going to touch upon that point and I am going to touch upon some issues which are dealt at the grassroots level, not at the higher level like Ayodhya movement or something else. So first let me start with because some part of my presentations were already done by Ashwini ji as well as Mr. Patel because they have touched upon uh, what I have to speak. And again he started off by saying what I am going to do that matters a lot than what somebody else is doing, right? So this presentation I want to start this presentation on behalf of the 136 of our Karyakartas. We lost to, to Jihadi Menas in Tamil Nadu in the last 20 years. So whatever that we have achieved today is because of the sacrifice of those 136 people who still <laughs> we are remembering. And I am here just because of my Guru Sri Ramagopalji who taught us that's the flag of the resistance of Hindus will flutter till the last Hindu child is alive in this earth. So, with that hope, we are working and this 136 people who died in the field, they all died with this thing in their heart. So, now let us go asserting the authority of Dharma. So, how on various fields that we have one, there are hundreds and thousands of things under each topic. But I am just uh, touching one or two elements of it and then I will go by that. Number one is this, the restoration of Tamil New Year. The government of Tamil Nadu changed the Tamil New Year. So our Tamil New Year starts in the month of Chitrai, that is in the spring season. Since the Christian New Year starts in the month of January, the Tamil Nadu government wanted to bring this Tamil culture to the Christian culture. So the Tamil Nadu government changed a traditional New Year. Unfortunately, the opposition party at that time, the ruling party was Mr. Karnanidhi, the DMK was ruling. Janelita was the opposition leader, she too supported it. So there is no opposition. So that is the time when we picked up this fight. We rallied Tamil scholars, we make a big movement, then when the government we went to the court, filed the cases, court asked certain questions to the government and the government never returned to the court as Ashwini ji knows, because in Indian judiciary, they have a very good knack of buying time from the court. I think lawyers are paid for that, am I right? <laughs> I mean, I'm better. So uh, that is the situation, but then, People's movement forced, when Jain Lildash and she became the chief minister, the chief minister, when she was the opposition leader, supported the other side, she changed and did this enactment in favor of the Hindus. This is the success of Dharma, because even the hooligans in the farmer's agitation, they are only able to stall the loss. But Dharma is able to reenact a law. So Dharma is more powerful than all the terrorists of this nation put together. And this is the first thing that we need to know what the power of Dharma is. Point number two, implementing court orders. And the Parani is a very famous temple in uh, Tamil Nadu and people from other parts also know Parani. It is one of the six adopts of abouts of Lord of Subramanya. So in the footsteps, there are 13 shops which are taken over by the Muslims and the Muslims were running these shops for years. They used to consume liquor there. They take beef there. Apart from that, people from Kerala, whomsoever who comes to Parani, they used to light camper in each and every step and then only they walk. That is the level of devotion they have towards that shrine. These hooligans sitting in the shop, they used to take their mobile phones and take photograph in some sort of... When, you, when the girls, when they go down, then you can take photos from certain angles. They post it in their Facebooks. And no one can do anything. And then finally, when we got a... The, we forced the department to get a court order to evict them. But the department won't evict them. 
So the local Hindus, we decided, okay, so now we want to implement this court order. They said that, okay, police is not uh, helping us. Revenue department is not helping us. Then they said, okay, we will help you. Then 2,000 Hindus assembled and said that we are now giving you, we are putting you on notice that if you are not going to remove this encroachment within this date, we will come and remove it. What is good for you? Within a week, all these encroachments were removed. <laughs> this is what the power of dharma is. Yes, next. Because even yesterday, in the first session about the temple, when they are talking about, they said there are many court orders with this. And Ashwini will agree with me, court orders are good to be there in the paper, am I right? Unless or other days you don't have power, your government is not going to implement any of these orders. So finally it lies with the hands of the Hindus, and the Hindus in Tamil Nadu, they have done this. And the number one is we force the government to rip tree. And some good people from Karnataka may be here, and they may be knowing good about Tipu Sultan. Karnataka government announced a holiday for these two tyrants and the Mysore Gazetteer said and they are the noblest kings, you know why? Because father and son duo had destroyed not less than 7,000 temples and this is what is there in their Gazetteer. It's a very good record. I think Virat Kohli has scored that much amount of runs in one day international in his career but these two guys have destroyed that much amount of temple within their short span. So Tamil Nadu government decided to construct memorial for these two kings and it is Jayalalitha who announced it and she even said that two crores allotted from the government for the construction of these two. So they have put up some spot where it is going to be constructed. As he rightly pointed out, we don't have a BJP there in Tamil Nadu like Karnataka or Gujarat or any other state. We went to the Hindu community, approached people belonging to all political party and all caste leaders. It became a people's movement. From one place called Thadi Kumbu, the people said that we won't allow. It went to another village called Aharam. There also we did the same thing. The local community said that we won't allow. So the district collector said that I am going to come and do the Shilanyas for this one. So the local people said, if the collector is going to come, he can't enter into our village. We will not allow the collector even to get inside the village. So it got cancelled. Then they shifted to some other village. There also we organized the people to fight. Understand, there is no Hindu organizations in those villages. It is the local Hindu community which took up the fight. And then finally, they have to settle it in a Muslim land. So. A, not even an inch of government land. Even if the government wishes to do, Hindus in Tamil Nadu won't allow that to do. This is what the power of Dharma and the government has to retreat. <laughs> the next one. This year, our Tamil Nadu government has become a Shastragya. They decided in which day we have to celebrate Vinayaka Chaturthi because the government wanted a long weekend. Because they are working too hard, you know, getting commissions and corruption. So, so they want a long rest. And because one of the ministers in the cabinet of the government said that the chief minister's family has amassed 30,000 crore within one year. It's a statement made by the finance minister, okay? So that is how they are working tirelessly. So they wanted a long weekend. So they changed the Ganesh Chaturthi. Then we said, okay, if they, they, we said that we are going to go to the court, that is number one. Then we started campaign against it throughout. Then the government has to finally change its decision. So this is what Hindus can do. A government which say that I'm anti-Sanatana has to kneel down before the Hindu force. And this happened this year by the same anti-Sanatana government. Next slide. And there is a place called Ramanathapuram district. And that is the district from which Lord Rama built his bridge towards Sri Lanka. And this is the bridge which is in the eye of storm by the previous UPA government to be destroyed. That is the district. And now this district has become the highest Muslim populous district in Tamil Nadu. That is something that we need to understand. 
So the Sararzam localities where you can see signboards saying that uh, nobody should enter this area without the permission of the Jamaat. So in public road, the Jamaat is putting up these boats. Again, some Hindus, I just want to name one gentleman by the name Kumar Chalapan. He was there with Pioneer at that time. We took him and some other press people also there. We covered up everything and all these things appeared in the newspaper. Based on the newspaper, we made the local community to speak against it. And finally, the government has to remove all the boards. And activism in any form works. Even media activism too helps. And this is one example how these things have changed in Ramnath or Next one. Just go first. Now, this was the position of Tamil Nadu and Stanu Malayanji is here. He was our Chaitanya Pracharak before. So he knows better and we all worked together during that time. I told that 136 of our friends have died due to jihadi terror in Tamil Nadu from 1989 to till date. In most of the places when Hindus go and prefer complaint in the police station, police won't receive the complaint. Instead, they will foist cases against our people based on a counter complaint by the Muslims. So we decided that we need to stop. And you don't have a big party or we don't have MLAs or we don't have MPs. We have nothing. As far as BJP is concerned, we are a non-starter in Tamil Nadu. So we decided, okay, then we can take it as a people's movement. So then we thought, okay, why can't we do one thing? We have to bring all these things to the public forum. So we started recording each and every jihadi incident happened in Tamil Nadu. So we planned that within one year, we have to document around 50 such jihadi incident and produce 50 documentaries and put it across. So the problem is, okay, when we go to the community, the community is not willing to open up because of the fear that they will be killed by the Muslims or the police will foist cases against them. This was the situation when he started up. Then we took up some programs, like this removing the board, some this tipu, hydra, these things, getting it out. So that builds some confidence among the Hindus. And the 100 plus people came out, they issued statements, we got lots of materials, and we produced a jihadi documentary and released in 2016. After that particular documentary, the counter foisting of cases stopped in Tamil Nadu and this is what how we made law to act because dharma is capable of doing it. Next one. And now, I mean, most of the things I just touched up, couple of things. Uh, we are working in the field of jihad and uh, we traveled throughout the country, collected autopsy reports of people who are killed by Muslim terrorists and we proved that in most of the murders from the autopsy report they were committed according to the verses of Quran 8th chapter 11th verse it states kill a person by striking over the nape and smiting the fingers since we are able to prove it to the government and because of these documentaries and other stuffs, now the government has recently declared murder of one Ramalingam in Tamil Nadu. The government stated that this pattern of murder is a jihadi pattern. This is for the first time in the history a government has admitted there is a jihadi pattern of murder. And the next one that we have done is now after this ban of PFI, some attacks happened in some of the in Hindu institutions. We collected samples of the charcoal, the charred remains. We put it into chemical analysis and we find contents of magnesium and other stuffs there. And these are not part of a petrol bomb or something else, so there is some cocktailing going on. And this we proved from some other accidents which took place and even when this region Kannur train uh, blaze, when it has come out, now NIA has for the first time admitted that some other substance, a petrol-like substance is used for burning this incident. So we are able to guide the law which the government is still now blind of. This is what 
the power of dharma is a kari when it is not my job it is the job of hundreds and thousands of karyakarsas they have done i am just representing what they have done so under each topic i can go on for hundreds of things and this is what dharma has done in a state where relatively bjp is nowhere and it is again a moment where i knew, we want to state with the pride now next year we are going to have the consecration of our ayodhya ram mandir this ayodhya ram mandir movement started in tamil nadu to bury the liberation of one temple in velur by the name janakanteshwara temple which was done by our sangha and hindu munani in tamil nadu in 82 based on that vishwa hindu parishad took this issue and now we have the ram mandir this is what dharma has done as a project work in tamil nadu next slide just a minute i'll just complete it so lessons learned these are the things i learned the indelible faith and the self pride of a hindu is something that we need to admire and this is the biggest social asset we have and we are not thinking that hindus don't have self pride and this is one community which has got the maximum self asset this is the most responsive society for which i have worked so far we don't have a bayan every week you don't have a sunday mass every week but you don't have ever any communal or a moment as social as social uh discourse or anything else and you can't even get one hour of social discourse in your lifetime but they have every week but still they can't do what we are doing so i feel that we are the most responsive society to work with and this society has got the ability to work on its own not to get fund from liberal lefts or soros so this community is having that capability the problem with us we don't have a deep understanding about the strength of our society and this is something that we don't have so these are the way forward which i suggest we need to have a knowledge based cadres we need to professionalize hindu work creation of multiple battle grounds and this is something which i am advocating for a long time ayodhya movement was a success not only because of one ram yandar issue we have several issues going simultaneously in the country so all of these things help the ayodhya movement to gather strength so the creation of multiple battle grounds is a very important thing as our professor in his first speech his inauguration he said that each and every one have got something to do that collectiveness will give you a national perspective over a whole universal hindu perspective and this is one thing then document and this will ultimately lead to a hindu vote bank as you pointed out it may be any political party that we can do and then documentation and replication and the last one i go with ashwini ji that is the cost conundrum this is what we say it is a politics of hate but in our experience in tamil nadu what we are able to do is we are able to create a pride with that cost saying yes and he said that instead of using the surname that you have to put the name of your gotra am i right and this is how you started it my father did it in my name 50 years back that is why i am gotra okay so what we uh, uh, experienced in this is every caste is having a root in a rishi lineage or a puranic lineage or some lineage but again caste is a place where that really preserves the culture tradition and the custom so the thing is what we need to take out of caste is untouchability what you need to strengthen with caste is its relationship to the ancient sanatani roots and these are the way forward i think that we can do and one thing i failed to mention sorry it's 10 15 minutes one slide i missed it and since we they have touched upon politics uh, gentleman over here here is there because at that time he was our pracharak i got his permission before doing it muslims in 2716 try to increase the number of legislatures in tamil nadu assembly from 5 to 13 so we strategically worked 
and to keep it down to five. The organized Hindu society to what? Dharma responded. So, we will do Jai Sri Ram. Jai Sri Ram.